to see you there. Well, hi, Ralph, and hi, food friends. Hi, everybody. It's Kevin. And Ralph, as you heard. And if I make it, <laughs> wow, vintage housewares. Okay. Okay. <laughs> On today's and, episode and, of? Uh, of Cavalcade of Food. And Ralph, we are going to look at what we call, or what I call, snack sets. Oh, doesn't that sound fun? And it was a real thing back in the 1950s, don't you know? Yeah. Um, and even into the 60s. Sure. Uh, when... Entertaining was more of a entertaining thing. Entertaining was a real thing, where you had people over regularly um, to not just have dinner, but sometimes it was just cards. Oh, I remember people playing bridge, right? Or yeah. even poker or canasta or pinochle. This was a very grown up thing, right? To have a card party and to have um, uh, people over to do these kinds of things. Or someone would take a trip somewhere mm. and People would gather to watch their slides, slides or right? share pictures. Or, yeah. or home movies or whatever. And it was just, I'm sure our food friends have a lot of memories about like grown-up parties that um, mom and dad had and, and kids were either down in the basement or off off at, uh, you know, the neighbors, Aunt Josephine's. Yeah, but it's also uh, true that people would just visit. You know, sometimes there yes. wasn't even a need for a party per se or a card party, but just there was a lot more visiting going on where people would uh, there just was, come by. There was a social thing. And yeah, and so you'd want to have uh, a night, put out some nice little snacks. And, and a lot a of times, um, particularly there were there were clubs and organizations and uh, ladies would lunch and they would have their friends over and maybe they would play cards and maybe it was just a big old gossip session, I don't know, but they would have sandwiches and coffee and and things like that. And so American glass manufacturers were always looking for uh, a new way to produce glass to sort of be incorporated into our social lives and daily living. And so one of the things they came up with was a snack set. So I've got a few from the Cavalcade collection. Here you see snack set. That's what they called it. So here's Anchor Hocking, a very big company, still in business by the way. And this is a snack set, eight pieces. Wow. That was four plates and four cups. That's original box. In the original box. And Package. see you've got the plates here stacked one on top of each other like so and Ralph if you look at the plate this is a very popular pattern and folks who go to flea markets and estate sales and things like that you'll recognize this pattern this is called early American press cut and they made it in all kinds of different things Ralph but here's the snack set look at see this little round circle right here Ralph yes. can you see it? Is it kind of raised? That's what that's for. So that you could kind of hold your cup and you so maybe you were serving punch or iced tea or coffee or whatever. You had your cup and then you had your plate. You'll notice there's smaller plates. These were luncheons. These were little sandwiches. These were little uh jello molds, uh little salads, wasn't things just, of that sort. Wasn't just ladies though. L no, ladies, guys too. Ladies who lunch and men who like to munch. <laughs> and look at this was uh an eight piece snack set, yep. early American Prescott. And what wasn't there a TV show Sergeant Prescott of the Sir, Sergeant Prescott of the Preston Yukon. Of the Yukon, yeah. Um but so not named after him. This is Prescott, but but yeah, so this is this is um uh, when the early American kind of colonial themed design started coming into vogue in the 60s, that's when they had this. Now here's one. This is from the Federal Glass Company, Columbus, Ohio. This is Yorktown, is the name of the pattern. And by the way, you can see, this is like a pop-up 
See, so this oh, is how the store would display. Nice, yeah. See, the early American press cut has also got this sort of this perforated. These were meant to be displays in the store. So here's the Yorktown pattern from Federal Glass, and it is unlike that one, which is square round. Look at this one is square, and whoever had this even thought so much as to put each cup in a little baggie. And actually, I kind of like this pattern, sort of this bubble pattern. Mm -hmm. And there you go, place to hold the, keep the cup in place. This was also something if you had a larger party and maybe not everybody could sit down, they were standing up oh, and eating. Okay. How you know, right? You got a place for to hold the cup, and you've got a place to put your food. Right. So this is the what did I say it was? Yorktown. And how many pieces? Snack eight. That was very standard. Um, for the eight pieces, yeah. So you, you know, four plates and four cups until there was an uh oh, and one of them broke, <laughs> and then you had something uneven less than number. That. Now, this is one from the Colony Glass Company. This is the Daisy eight piece. Look what they did, Ralph. They called it a TV set. Oh. And not like a T, we think of a TV, like a, t remember we used to call them TV sets, television sets? Right. Um, but this is a set of dishes. A snack this set. is an eight piece snack set, but they didn't, they wanted to be different than the other guys, so they called it a TV set. And this is so that you could maybe watch and eat in front of the TV, wow. which now is like, you so, know, commonplace, right? right. But it's a daisy pattern, so look at that plate. Isn't that great? Yes, and it also has this circle kind of uh, indented, so you could put your cup there. It has two features. It has the circle indented, and let me go down here to the, the cups, which will be at the bottom of the box. There we go. Here's the cups. See in their own little thing. So here you had your cup, but here... I don't know if you can tell, you've got like a little lip, lip a little raised area here, and that is either for, hold, like, you, so that you could oh. hold it, see, and not put your yes. thumb in your tapioca <laughs> or whatever, okay? And so it's here, a, a thumb grip almost. Okay, but it also, you know, so, but this is a TV set. Isn't that cool? So, you know, and now, of course, it's so funny. I don't know when we started doing this. But apparently now you cannot eat, and whenever you eat, you have to watch TV. It has to be on. Yeah, because you go into any restaurant now, and there's 20 TVs uh, all over the place. It's like we can't talk to each other and, anymore. No, it's not. It's like, no, now we have to even, you know, it was bad enough we did it at home. Now we go to a restaurant, and it's like, no, you got to watch TV when you're in here. So they might have also called it a TV set just to kind of modernize it, make it seem like it's a little like more, more like, up yeah. with the times. And well, then, and, t you know, the, in the 50s, TV was like, brand new. oh, my gosh, this was like, you know, the hey, height the of technology. Uh, so did you ever do a, a segment on um, TV trays? No, but that would be a good one. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, I have a little collection of them. Not big, but I, I do have a number of Because they come trays. in handy. They do come in handy, and they were really designed, again, for eating in the living room, where you're not supposed to eat, because uh, they're... But, um, but the eat tray, your TV dinner. Your, your frozen of, street your TV your dinner. Frozen TV dinner on a TV on tray, your TV tray in front of your television. television set. You know, so here we go. So thank you. So here is another product of the Federal Glass Company. These are both the same, but the boxes are different. So I just wanted to show that. Yeah, I thought this one was a, a game of Trivial Pursuit. <laughs> <laughs> kind of so, looks that way. The, Trivial Pursuit has that cursive writing. So one is a you know one is a green box and one is a silver box, and they have the same imprint on it. It looks like a big southern. Uh, a state, doesn't oh, it? Look yeah. with the columns and, on the veranda. and uh, on, out on the veranda, yeah, and you're being served. And here is a plate that is almost, I don't know, I, it's almost like the shape of a palette. An artist palette, yeah, yeah. doesn't it, right? But if you look, Ralph, what's beautiful about these is all the details. It's not just a plate, but they have this sort of scalloped uh, leaf pattern uh, pressed into the plate, and again, here's your cup, 
and it goes right there. And that's for your coffee or whatever you're drinking. It's about, it's about two swallows by today's standards. I know, right? <laughs> well, this used to, you know, the, a cup of coffee literally was a cup, which is eight ounces, okay? And that, that's what you got. Um, so other than the color of the boxes, everything else everything's is the same? Everything's the same. Wow. And then just for variation, Federal Glass, the same company that made these sets, mm -hmm. they came out with a Rosecrest eight-piece snack set. Check Ooh. that out. Same shape, by the way. Yep. Okay, so they used the same mold, but instead... They went with a milk glass, a white glass. And painted. With a decal. That is cool. Applique here. And here, I guess it goes like that. Now, yeah. how beautiful is that? Isn't that high class? That would, uh, yeah, that would be the talk of the town at any little gathering. Sure. Yep. So, you know, you could really go all out with these little snack sets. And if you were having a party, you know, like so many of the things that we show here, Ralph, this was not expensive stuff, okay? This was probably, you know, $2.98 oh, okay. at your local dime store, dime store or, or department store. And, but it made a nice impression. Everybody had matching cups and plates. And what fun it was just to you know, sort of have something that was designed just for guests and for little luncheons and little snacks and hors d'oeuvres. And you know what? We gotta I gotta figure out a way to use these. Maybe oh, I, we will. When 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 we can have parties again, um, wouldn't people wouldn't they, wouldn't this be a gas to, to just bring yeah. something like this out? A little right? luncheon and, have, and munching. Yeah, and have you know. Uh, you know, a fun, fun little punch. punch or Maybe, oh, yeah, make a punch because I think yeah. we have done episodes of uh, punch bowls, if not. We haven't done punch bowls oh. yet, but we are going to. Because that goes well with these snacks. It sets. really does. As a matter of fact, you uh, early American press cut, there is a punch bowl that goes with that. And I think there might be one that goes with Yorktown and with maybe the hospitality pattern as well. I have to check. I've got a lot of punch bowls. Well, let's have a party where we have um, snack sets, punch bowls, and TV trays and, and invite all our food friends and they're using their imagination to join us. How would that be? Now, Super fun. Now we're talking about fun. So anyways, this is just something we wanted to share with you. Again, another part of the collection here at the Cavalcade. And if you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. We always appreciate you spending time with us. If, if you remember these and you have a snack set story, or you might even have a set tucked away somewhere that was your, your mom's or your grandma's, share it with us in the comments. Love to hear about um, your collection and what you, what you remember growing up with. We love your feedback and your input, so we wouldn't be here without you, so please uh, join in on the comments section. Absolutely. And in the meantime, everyone, be well, take care, and we'll look forward to seeing you again real soon, right here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye. Bye, everybody.